Hi guys, this is Breaker, and I am back with replay number two. Well, actually, this is replay number one. That's what it was labeled as, as it was uploaded to Reddit. Excuse me, cast it, moreover. And in the lower left-hand corner, spawning as our Protoss in the red trunks, his name is... Scissors. Hmm. Lower right-hand corner, the uploader, Golf. And the map we're on right now looks like Whirlwind LE. We just got done casting a TVP between MMA and Showtime. I'm not going to give you guys the results of that, but you should definitely go back and watch it. It should be the video that is uploaded to my YouTube channel just before this one. Oh, and I can't wait to see the results of this one, how it plays out, and so on and so forth. Um, in the context of TVP, we've got rather wide open, natural, at least, let me go and take this back. Um, in the case of Protoss, we have a rather wide open, natural. It would probably be better to try to get to Colossi very quickly on 2-base as opposed to High Templar. Of course, AoE. High Templar have a bigger punch to them and the more potential to do damage with their AoE than Colossi. But of course, Colossi can use their AoE over and over again. But, um, you know, one money... If you can... Think about it for a minute, though. If it's one money storm as opposed to a bunch of little strikes, maybe three or four strikes. It's probably equal to three or four shots from a Colossus, really. Um, so it, it would help out in that aspect, but at the same time, in the early stages of the game, I want to say Marine and Marauders are not too terribly much of a threat against a, against a Colossus, provided there are enough sentries. But at the same time, sentries are very gas expensive. So this would require a two-base turtle, to say the very least. Sorry about that, I had to send a message on my iPhone just now. Um, but it looks like we have Goff going for a double command center opening into a Rax follow-up. I'm going to try and take this a little bit slower, try to be more articulate with my voice, and see how you guys like it that way. And of course, it looks like he's going to go straight into bio because we already have the second barracks out. Um, whether or not he will need a bunker is entirely up to him. I did see an M I did see MMA throw down a bunker in this matchup on this map versus Showtime. Showtime, unfortunately, I don't, he belongs to a clan known as ESCEU. I'm not sure what it stands for. But here we go. Gateway's cranking out the first stalker right now. And at the natural, we have scissors moving out to throw down the expo. Very brave opener, considering he hasn't seen his opponent's natural just yet. And he's probably thinking to himself, well, one way or another, if I get there, it's just, you know, it's going to be there, and so is a bunker, more than likely. That is the penultimate... Not penultimate, that is the quintessential, you know, Terran opener. Regardless of whether or not there is an actual expo, there's typically always a bunker. You can play mind games that way. And it looks like we have Goff going very low on the Marine count for the time being. And he may have been temporary, temporarily supply blocked. That could be why I didn't actually see that a minute ago. Now we have the second gateway going down for Scissors. And he's trying to get into a position where he can actually see his opponent's orbital command. I cannot state how critical it is to actually go back and look at what is happening and verifying, just verifying that there is in fact an orbital command. Now, there is something else I want to highlight. There are two stalkers here. This is making me think perhaps that, and this is actually tricking up scissors just a little bit. Or excuse me, not tricking up scissors, but tricking up golf just a little bit. Ooh, the Marines coming out. They're actually, they managed to get the shields off of both of those stalkers. And if he so had to, I feel that scissors would have been ready to basically throw down a time warp to get his stalkers out of there. It might be appropriate for him to do it now, and he does. And a few Marines do fall in the process, so thus far, if we check, uh... The losses, it's strongly in favor of Scissors right now. Not strongly, but I mean, well, early game, those losses are kind of big. And it looks like Goff, you know, he really wants to hide something with this. At least that's that's the kind of feeling I think I would get. 
if I was Protoss, but again, probably just simple mind games. We do have a Robo Bay going down right now. Actually, we not a Robo Bay, Robo Facility. Oh, robotics facility. The Chinese just call it VR. And I remember to say the word in it. I remember to say the word for it in Chinese, like, very mechanically, ultra mechanically. Now, Scissors. Getting a robotics bay. That is really fast. He really wants that two base colossi. But right now, the one thing I do need to bring to everyone's attention is the simple fact that the. Um, the sentry count is extremely low for scissors. He doesn't even have a single sentry out. He does he have the gas income for it? That's the real question. Um, four gases. I don't know. I mean, a single sentry is 100 gas. I believe a colossus is 300, 200. I'm not entirely sure, but he's gonna go ahead and get that first observer out, and then worry about a colossus. Actually, he's already got an observer out here. He's he's getting a second one out. Oh, but that observer! Oh! Shut down, unfortunately. Now we do have Stim going down for Goth. And... Looks like he's gonna just go straight into Marine Marauder Medivac. Possibly would I might. If it wasn't for the fact that we saw a Mothership Core earlier, the music that we are listening to right now would trick me into thinking that this is actually Wings of Liberty. And now we have plus one weapons going down. Did plus one armor go down? No, it did not. A lot of Protosses with this kind of opener typically favor uh, plus one armor. But I believe this one is different in the essence that we have immediately our Protoss rushing to get to Colossi Tech. And Colossus versus Marines, well, they eat Marines alive, basically. And these Marines don't have combat shields yet. They're waiting to get that first. It'll be 40 HP extra, and it'll be done in 30 seconds. Now, Goff has moved out, and there's an Observer coming here. just saw that there's no third. Does he actually know that... Yes, he knows about that third orbital command, but that is not the present situation with it. And, oh wow, even to this point, Goff has not scouted his opponent. Oh, 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 but this! There it is. He actually got a good glimpse of what his opponent's unit composition is, and with that being said, he just saw one Colossus. He did not see the second one come out. And presently, we have Extended Thermal Lance going down. It has another 70 seconds to go. It's actually halfway done. Pylon going down here now. Actually, getting taken down now by Goff. And it looks like Goff is going to just try to take it into macro mode. Maybe contain his opponent and wait. Oh, this is actually not going to be good for him. I don't know, I mean, there's, there's, there's less than 8 units here, if he times this right, if he spins this right, he's gonna get a lot of damage done. He has to target down those Colossi, those force fields are okay, but, oh man, everything is falling slowly, but surely there's 3 Marauders alive, and they will take, they will make short work of those Stalkers. Concussive Shell's not ready yet, but everything is already dead here for our Protoss. Oh man, and the Marauders facing down the last Zealot. And the pylon falls. Vikings come out just in time. But there was almost no need for them. We do have, of course, Goth coming here to check for a third. But this has been the location for the third. The only danger that I can highlight is that there is no architecture here from our Protoss whatsoever. So that means drops. And it's very hard to put something in the air here. It would probably be okay to put a pylon right here, perhaps. And that would pick up on any medevacs coming from the north that swing around this way on the minimap. So thus far, if we check units lost, resources as well, it's more than double what we have lost from Goff for our Protoss player. Yes, poor scissors. Okay. And it looks like we have scissors trying to basically macro up. He is throwing down his Templar archives, but I feel he doesn't have enough beef to support the bones of his army. And by bones, I mean the huge, swinging, strong Colossi. He needs, I feel, more zealots for this composition. That much is obvious. And we already have a Ghost Academy going down. 13-minute Ghost Academy. Three base. Typically, we see this when, you know, the the main is already dry. And, you know, Terran is going for his fourth. But it looks like tech ups are more important than upgrades presently. We do have the Mobius reactor being researched. That means when the ghosts pop, they will have enough energy for an EMP. Scan going down right on top of the main army. 
for our Protoss, and right now the, the Viking count is just severely high. Scissors, you know, kind of in a lot of trouble. There is a pylon in between those two bases, and it looks like this third, it could end up falling with all the workers getting absolutely slaughtered. Oh no, the mothership core is going to fall. And the, the Colossi, they're just absolutely done for. I don't know how we're going to see Scissors hold on in this game. You know, he's he's just, he's so far behind. The Marauders, ah, the, the Vikings, they've taken down the Colossi. The Probes, thankfully, are still alive. That If he can keep from losing those, he will still be in this game, I think. To some extent, he still is in the game. But behind us, we also have the 4th base finishing up for, or excuse me, the 4th. Fourth command center fishing up for Goff. Supply difference is now 80 to 151. That's 70. Population. 70 population. And behind this, just all this infrastructure able to pop, able to pop out a lot of marauders. High Templars are here as well. But presently, I just I, I don't know if he's gonna be able to hold this or not. You know, I mean. Is he going to be able to get it together, push back, make something happen? I think, you know, there, there are some ways he can make some damage happen and perhaps put himself in a winning or semi-victorious position, and that would be, you know, possible war prism grass. Right now, all these medevacs are low on HP, so I think if we see, you know, excellent storms, to say the very least, we could see Scissors turn this around, if just for a brief moment. There are no, there are no sentries in the composition. And I'm wondering, do these zealots have charge? Yes, they do. And probes are being killed one at a time as they leave the third, and the third is about to be taken down yet again, just as the fourth is propped up. Meanwhile, this is going to force Scissors to engage, but no, it's not. He's just going to try and stick around, save up, and probably try and move out on two base after his main goes dry, or as his main is going dry. It has less than 300 minerals on each patch. Meanwhile, the numbers just keep on getting higher and higher for Goff. It's just... I, I don't know. You know, and he's, he's doing this ultra safe as well. He's doing it the right way. There's nothing wrong with putting an orbital command down there, but presently, I don't think, you know, there's, there's just not enough here to take that down with a bunch of SCVs repairing it. Oh, man. Okay, so here we go. Goff getting ready to move out on his opponent yet again. The third's going to be taken down. But will he pick up on this fourth? I mean, it's just been thrown down. Goth basically parking himself out for... Parking himself out here for a contain on his opponent. There's about five ghosts here. Six, as I say that. And do we have a nuke at all? I don't know. I love, I love games that have nukes in them. Just be so beautiful, really, to... You know, catch it coming out of the silo. Beautiful feedback, speaking of beautiful... So that means no EMPs in the near future. Well, perhaps I'm wrong about that. We have four more ghosts coming in that are cloaked in just a handful of feedbacks. They snipe out all of the High Templar. Well, not all of them, but a good deal of them. This one is in a forward position, but it gets sniped. And the, the energy on the rest of these guys is just gone. So he's forced to engage with essentially no way of dealing out AOE other than his Colossi, and those are on a borrowed time. We go, the Stalker's blinking forward, trying to take down the Vikings. That is the basic unit interaction right now. Beautiful storms, but unfortunately the Zelts are caught in it. And another beautiful storm as well. The third is already finished up, and finally we just see that Scissors has left the game. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys liked what you saw here, just go ahead and click on the subscribe button. This is Breaker. I'll see you guys next time.